mshareussellformining.com.au and joining me today is Carl Marley, the CEO of Hertz Energy. Carl, it's great to speak with you. How are you? I'm good, uh, Jay. It's, uh, thank you for having me. I'm thrilled to have you on this morning, Carl. Now, uh, something I'd love to talk about is uh, your diverse portfolio because you have quite an array of metals under your banner there. Can you talk me through some of them? Yes, Shay. Um, as you said, I'm CEO of Hertz Energy, which is a Canadian um, critical minerals company. As you know, mining until the last couple of decades has been base metals focused and critical minerals mining is a new word, new investment opportunity. I believe it's a generational investment opportunity for investors. And Hertz is focused on critical minerals. We have lithium projects in James Bay, we have a pending uranium application in Namibia, and we recently acquired a very um, strong project for antimony in the Gaspé region in Quebec. Uh, well, antimony seems to be the key word for the second half of 2024. Can you talk me through a little bit more about that project in particular? Yes, Shay. Um, in the middle of August, China put restrictions on exports of antimony, and up until now, they've had a very strong um, hold on the supply chains and they were supplying North America with 60 to 70 percent of the antimony. With the restrictions there's been an urgent rush to secure antimony for North America. We've seen the price of antimony increase from 8,000 a ton to 24,000 a ton. So you know the price of antimony has gone up but there's also an urgent need in North America to secure antimony. Uh, antimony is very critical in the use for weapons manufacturing. Um, as you know, we're in the height of our generation of conflict in the world across Ukraine, the Middle East, and the U.S. has depleted its weapons inventories and there's an urgent need to rebuild those and antimony will play a strong part in the rebuild. Obviously, you have several critical metals projects on the books. Uh, tell me, where will you start exploring for next? Well, we just finished a project or, or surface sampling projects on our lithium projects in James Bay. We're waiting for assay results, but we acquired the antimony project. It's called the Harriman Antimony Project. And we've, um, we've just launched an exploration program. We have a crew going to the program next week with the goal to do surface work and identify drill targets at that project. Uh, now, just circling back to this antimony project, because it sounds uh, quite exciting, uh, what are you planning to do with it next? Uh, Shay, once we get surface uh, word, uh, results back and identify drill targets, we currently have um, what's called flow through capital. And Quebec is a very, um, very, um, very sought after province for mineral exploration. They have what's called a flow through mineral exploration funding program where investors can invest in flow through capital, which is dedicated to exploration for minerals and investors get 100% tax credit for their investment. So because of that, we have access to a lot of capital to fund our exploration. We currently have about 750,000 cash in the company and we're gonna be deploying that mostly at the Antimony project. And our goal is to drill that project and move it towards an economic um, basis very quickly. Now, one of the things I wouldn't mind putting to bed is how investors could access your shares, uh, because some Australian investors might think that international companies are out of reach, but your company is listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange, aren't they? Yes. Uh, as I said, we're a Canadian company. We're listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange. We're also listed in Frankfurt, as well as the US over the counter. And, um, you know, Australian investors wishing to invest in us should contact the broker we are accessible to Australian investors for investment through various Australian entities. Uh, now, it sounds like you're going to have a very busy next few months coming up. I look forward to having you back on to see how these projects progress. Thank you so much for being here. Shay, thank you for having me and letting me uh, present Hertz Energy to Australian investors.